for this. Word up to Thizzler for helping the nigga make it. Hi guys, my name is Michael Sneed. I'm an Oakland, California native. Uh, I am a rapper, uh, sing song, singing producer. Uh, yeah. I always knew I wanted to make it, uh, music um, since I was like five years old. Um, my aunt Deborah would have like me and my little cousins uh, perform for her. Like we would perform like Jackson Five songs and like Backstreet Boy records uh, for her um, at her crib. And like ever since then, I knew I wanted to make music. And how I got into rap, like I always thought I was gonna be a singer, um, but how I got into rap was Mr. Fry at Skyline had a mic, and TV used to be um, there recording artists and recording his own stuff. And one day I just wandered in there, um, asked to get behind the mic and freestyled. And it was pretty decent. Um, and I just liked uh, the feel of, you know, rapping. That's, I got into it. DC uh, showed me hella love. I, I was running through like the open mic scenes. Uh, it's a space in DC called Spit That. Um, I kind of like guarded sort of a fan base um, through Spit That and through open mics like Versus, um, performing with live bands and doing acapellas. And eventually I got to get on the Yard Fest stage. It's like one of the biggest festivals in DC um, thrown by Howard University um, and garnered even more of a fan base through that. And how DC has affected my music. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Go-Go, but Go-Go is the sound in DC. Um, it's very uh, drum, uh, heavy and percussion heavy and I want to take that go-go swing these go-go drums and add them to like hyphy uh, uh, bass melodies um, to like present something new uh, fresh and I don't know very like cultured and urban based all right so kid at heart is well, it will be my debut project. I'm hell excited about it. Um, the concept uh, is just me trying to speak to my five-year-old self um, and give him lessons and reintroduce him to. Mm, let me let me rephrase this. I'm speaking to my five-year-old self. And my five-year-old self is speaking to me. So I'm speaking to my five-year-old self and giving him lessons and giving him advice to help him grow up into a better man than I am. And my five-year-old self is reintroducing me to childhood lessons that I might have forgot, you know, along the way. Um, and the project is gonna be rooted in nostalgia, not through sound, but through content. Um, there are like a lot of like Disney references. Uh, there are a lot of like Cartoon Network references, uh, old sports references, things that shaped me into the person that I am today. Um, and the sound is, it's not immature, it's very grown up, but it's still child friendly. Um, the hooks are very child friendly, as you can see with like Smile Again. Uh, we have a record on there, like, it's like this whole idea about like comparing boys to dogs and comparing girls to dogs and using Scooby-Doo as that like middle ground to compare like how we relate boys to dogs in kind of a positive light, but we relate women to dogs in this negative light. Um, and just throwing these ideas out into the air to help reshape what it means to be a boy, reshape what it means to be a girl, reshape what it means to be a man, reshape what it means to be a woman, so that there isn't this conflict between us and so that these kids aren't confused about what it takes to grow up. For this. Word up to Thizzler for helping the nigga make it. Thizzler on the roof, Dad.